Let me ask you something real quick. Have you ever watched those crazy cinematic AI videos online and thought, how are people generating these videos? Well, these videos are made with VO3 or Sora 2. And I get it. Those tools are powerful, but they're also expensive and heavily restricted. What most people don't know is this. You don't need to pay for VO3 or Sora 2. There are free, uncensored, and even open source tools creating the same level of quality. And in this video, I'm showing you exactly how it's done. If you want cinematic AI videos without spending a dollar, watch till the end. In theory, I'll be showing you everything step by step, the exact setup I use, and how to switch between models depending on what kind of content you want to create, whether that's cinematic videos, realistic images, or creative uncensored outputs. Do not skip this video, because near the end, I'm revealing how to unlock everything for free. Plus, I'll be giving you access to my Discord community, where I share free tools, exclusive resources, and I'm also dropping a pro prompt PDF that teaches you how to get dramatically better results from any AI model, even if you're a complete beginner. If you're serious about AI content creation, making your work stand out, or staying ahead before everyone else catches on, this video is for you. So do me a quick favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So, this is the tool that we're going to be testing today. The name of the tool is HitPaw. Now before anything else, I know that I did promise free, uncensored, and open source tools, and we are getting to that. But before we head right into those, I just want to give you a quick demo of this tool called HitPaw Photor P. This is the interface of the tool. But before we use it, we first have to go to our web browser and download it. If you want to download it, all you have to do is search HitPaw in any web browser you're currently using. Once you search for HitPaw, this is the tool you'll see. When we click into the tool, as you can see, the interface is pretty sleek and modern. You can download it on Windows, and you can also download it on Mac if you're using an Apple MacBook. This tool is used for photography and creative work, and it's trusted by professionals in the photography industry, content creation, video editing, and other creative industries. So without further ado, let me quickly show you what the tool can do. It has a lot of features, but you won't see all of them until you download it. If you're using a regular PC, click Try It Free, then install the tool on your laptop. You can also click Download Directly. Once the download is complete, this is the tool itself. I currently have 500 credits, and before Keyboard Warriors start attacking me in the comments, these credits were not given to me for free. If you click on the toolbox, you'll see features like AI Generator, AI Photo Editor, and Upscaler Face Swap, and many other powerful tools. If you click on the AI Generator, it takes us to a clean interface where we can generate images. This is where you choose which model you want to use, including Seedream, Seedream 4.0, Flux, and the GPT image model. This is the text to image section. You add your prompt here, select your model, and click Generate. The available image generation models include Seedream 4.0, Flux, and GPT. We'll start with the GPT image model, which is labeled as high quality by OpenAI. Let's test it with a simple prompt. A young man standing and looking at the camera. Realistic soft lighting, clean background. We'll select the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, then click Generate. Once the image is generated, it follows the prompt accurately and produces a clean result. Now let's switch to the Seedream model and generate the exact same prompt. After comparing both images, I believe the Seedream model performs better than the GPT model, so I recommend testing Seedream more. They also offer an image-to-image -image feature. I'll download the image, then drop it into the image-to-image -image section. One thing I forgot to mention is that you can manually adjust the width and height if you don't want to use the preset sizes. Now I'll add a prompt like, make him wear a cowboy hat, and click generate. As you can see, the cowboy hat was added successfully. The tool also includes templates you can try out. You can get inspiration directly from these templates. If you click more templates, you'll see a large collection. Some templates automatically place your image into a photo booth, while others place it into holiday or Christmas scenes. There are many templates to choose from, including playful, festive, and inspirational designs. 
The link to this tool will be in the description box of this channel, so make sure you check it out. But the video isn't over yet, because I'll also be showing you free, open source, and uncensored tools. HitPaw doesn't only focus on text to image and image to image. It also includes face restoration, image enhancement, facial detail recovery, and many other powerful features. Now let's move on to the free and uncensored open source tools. This is a text to video leaderboard showing the top models currently trending. Even though Sora 2 has been heavily hyped, Veo 3 is still ranked at the top. It has over 100 votes, was last updated on December 12th, and I recorded this video on December 31st. These models are fast, powerful, and capable of realistic motion, talking characters, and proper lip sync. Sora 2 Pro has its own strengths, especially for realistic characters, and Wan 2.5 is also powerful, although it's ranked lower. Both Veo 3 and Sora 2 are extremely powerful, but often expensive. I'll also show you places where you can access Veo 3 style models for free, or very cheaply. For those who don't know, GitHub is a platform where developers share code. If you search for text to video, you'll find repositories you can copy and run yourself, including Sora-style projects. Next is Hugging Face. Search for Hugging Face. Click Spaces. Then go to Video Generation. You'll find many free, open source and uncensored video models. You can even find VO3 style models here. These are community built and completely free to test. When you go to the video generation model, you are free to search for whatever model you are looking for, whether it's Sora 2 or VO3, and they are all free and open source and work the exact way the regular VO3 and Sora models work. In the next video, I'll be testing which VO3 model performs best, so make sure you subscribe. Also join my Discord community because some big upgrades are coming. Thanks for watching.